is Julian Reyes live from Austin Streets. We're finding out what's going on with the homeless today. Well, you know how it is when you're alcoholic, you can get sick and die if you don't get your, you know, hourly shot, you know. Yeah. Uh, DTs could kill you. Yeah. So people, like, it's a physical, it's a disease and a physical thing, and it's emotional, it's very complex. I just bought that last beer, and it just didn't taste right. I just I didn't like it no more. It all tastes shitty to me now, yeah. <laughs> at first. Yeah, me too. And then I drink one. Like yesterday, no, I'm lying. Yesterday, somebody gave me a coarse beer. That's not even beer. Right. It's like water. <laughs> well, I drank that anyway. It made uh -huh. me feel like crap. I'm like, oh. Dude. Yeah, well, that's, like, they put that high fructose corn syrup in the yeah. shitty beers. That's why all the yuppies, the trendies, yeah. have all the nice beers because it has a better sugar and stuff. This other Coors and all that, Ultra, Michelob, all that stuff is just junk. And the malt liquor, if yeah. I was in control, I would outlaw malt liquor. That's all I drink. It was that's rot gut. It's that's rot gut. Like steel reserve yeah, and that's what I drink. That's yeah, that's shit. That was that's smart. a monster that drink. Yeah, and three eleven or somebody's eleven. Two eleven. Yeah. That was my beer. It tastes right. like battery acid. <laughs> I mean, it, it does a job quick. Two cans of that stuff, boy. The job, fine. the yeah, job, the drunk. job is staying alive, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's not a party. Out. Like that's when we were 16, right? Yeah. Like someday we gotta grow up a little. Yeah. Uh, can I see your shirt? What about my shirt? That's I'm awesome. Mustangs. That's awesome. Mustangs. It's a hoodie. I'll find it already. I need to go to the thrift store and buy a change of clothes and shit. Yeah. You go to Savers. Oh, yeah. That's where I go. Most of my clothes are from Savers. Yeah. I got this this Chicano shirt from Savers. It's Crazy, right? From the Savers. Yeah, campaign international campaign for the defense of the neighborhood. I don't even know what it is or when it was. Like Romas, Justicia, ahora, justice now. We will not be. No, 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 they won't move us. This one right here says they won't move us. No, no. This may be from the 80s. They had a big movement just, in the just, 80s. Just this now, just like the sign on the bike says, just this now. Uh-huh. On the top right there of the building, whatever it says, Movimiento por Justicia del Barrio. It's just the movement for the justice of the neighborhood. Nice, huh? Yeah. Nice. That cop didn't say nothing to me. <laughs> Your Spanish is good. Awesome. Read and write it. You're bilingual. Yeah, I'm bilingual. Verizon could use you, man. I only went to the eighth grade. <laughs> only I dropped out. They kicked me out of the ninth grade. I did like three months of the ninth grade. Did they kick you out for dirty words? Fighting? All the time. <laughs> Where were you? Back home in the valley. Yeah, they don't have much money for education in the, terror. in the valley, do they? Uh, the valley's always been poor, dude. Yeah. It's always been poor. No oil or get natural gas down there? Yeah, there is, but you know, they're not sharing. They don't share. Agreed. That's what's wrong yeah. with this whole thing. So Austin's got a lot of money. Do you know what the annual budget is for Austin Police Department? Make a guess. About $20 million. $372 million. $372 million. They want more every year. They want to hire more. They don't have enough cops. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw hundreds of cops downtown this weekend for the young black uh, Are you races. This? Yeah. yeah, and I'll edit it later. Yeah, that's um, the uh, so I went down there. There's hundreds of cops. There's four buses and all the other cops. They had the mobile command center just for the Texas relays. You know what that is? No. It's uh, every year. Every year the state uh, has races here at right. uh, I guess at UT or somewhere, right. and all the high schools compete and mostly black and Hispanic kids, mostly right. black, right. and men and women, I mean, boys and girls. Right. And they go down there 
uh, downtown to party afterwards, yeah. and the cops get aggressive and they just huh. beat people up. And yeah, like, I've seen that. and so they didn't but do crap while I was exactly down there not filming. I have access to a TV, but I read the paper a lot. Uh huh. And I've seen. I mean, the paper is limited on the stories and stuff, right? Yeah, they lie. I've seen a little bit about it. They don't tell the whole truth, do they? So that's why I have my camera, so I can show the street level what's going on. And if people are going to watch it on YouTube, fine. Uh, or if they're going to go watch Fox News, fine, whatever. Was it, uh, they were taking pictures. Somebody was taking pictures of a cop arresting somebody. And the cop went and confronted them, dude, and told them that to put that away or, you know, to here? Go to jail. Here in Austin? Here in Austin, not too long ago. Put that thing, thing away, quit taking pictures, uh -huh. or he was going to go to jail. You saw it or you saw it online? Yeah, they do that to me a lot. I've been arrested, beaten, all sorts of stuff for filming. And so the problem is fear. The solution. I've seen you in the paper. Yeah, yes, a bunch. I've seen and you on the news. Yes, the the okay. problem with fear is um, we can't let it overtake us. Yeah, exactly. They're acting like terrorists. Yes, exactly. We can't be scared of terrorists. No, no, so no, courage. I don't fear, fear, man. Right, so courage is the solution. That's what Jefferson and so many people said. So you have to have enough courage to face the fear and say, no, I'm going to film. I'm going to do whatever. You can put me in jail and I'll see you in court. And that's what I do. And they, I know the mayor. I, know, I mean, everybody knows me. You know, that's the other thing. you, you got to be the, way the open. camping law? I don't know if you ever met Christopher. Long hair, red. He had long red hair. Christopher, he passed away. Oh, man. Cirrhosis again from drinking too much. But see, it was him and Richard Troxell. You know Richard Troxell? I know, I've met Richard, yeah. You know, he's a yeah. paralegal, mm -hmm. whatever he does. But yeah, whatever he does. Takes his real grand legal aid. He's a real, he's an asshole himself. <laughs> no shit. Because, <laughs> see, he took all the credit for what Christopher did. Because Christopher, at Peace Park, or one of these parks, uh -huh. see, because he used to have some land in Lano, and he'd only come to Austin when there was a festival going on, right? Christopher? We loved the music, right? Uh -huh. So he'd come for the music and then he'd go back home to Lano, right? He had his land there and his house and whatever he had over there. I never went there even though I was invited, but I never made it. But anyway, okay, Christopher got a ticket for camping, right? When he was lying on a bench, just resting for a while, right? He uh -huh. wasn't even, he said, no way, this is not camping. This is not, this doesn't constitute camping. No tent? There's no tent, no fire, no, fire. no stove, no nothing, right? So he fought it, and he won. But see, he got Richard Trucksville involved, right? Right. And Richard Trucksville took it to the next level and did a lot of looking in the books and stuff, right? And they did away with that law for a while, the no camping law. But it's back, right? Yeah, it's back now. But it lasts, but see, what I'm getting at is that Richard Truxton took all the credit for that, saying that he did it all. It's bullshit. If it wouldn't have been for Christopher that started to, to fight the system right, uh -huh. and saying, no, you guys are wrong for arresting me for this, right, uh -huh. because I was not camping, Richard Truxton just swallowed it up and made himself look you know, it's political. Yeah. yeah, the lawyers and legal people, they do a lot of political. They've well, used I, me politically, I too. I, political hey, I want to show you something from Richard Troxel. I got it in my truck. I'll be right back. Because it might help you. Troxel and Help the Homeless starting May 1st, 2011. No signal light ordinance allows uh, people with uh, different conditions and mobility and uh, diabetes and other things to sit for 30 more minutes. And the officer has to come back. Richard yeah, Famous take it to Richard. Asshole. Take your ticket to Richard Troxel. Yeah. He says so right there. Uh, yeah. At least get it started. Then you can get a court appointed or something. Yeah. Can't you get a court appointed for those? Uh, I'm sure you could. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of attorneys out there that do pro, pro bono stuff too. Yeah, well, I'm trying to do that too. I'm trying to get more lawyers together for the homeless, especially around the arch. Yeah. But um, so one of the things I, I don't go downtown. I haven't been anywhere across the river in over five years. Yeah. I don't eat, I don't have any, I didn't lose anything down there. Yeah, it's rough down you there. Know, now I just go because uh, the hospital and whatever I need to do. Brack? But other than that, I don't, I don't go across the river. You get a Brack? Uh, I've, been, I've been going to South Austin. St. David's. I got an appointment today at, at 3 o'clock. St. David's, I like them, and I like this so seat in Southwest out there. They were nice to me when I had, uh, I got a spider bite and then went MRSA on my leg. Yeah, I almost died from that one. <laughs> yeah, because um, I was trying to do, heal it myself with hippie medicine. You know, we tried everything, every garlic and everything. <laughs>
Yeah, garlic. The clay. To, but see, garlic doesn't work overnight, man. You have to have it in your system and constantly be eating this. We we'll put it on it. Yeah. It was on my leg. I got a little hole in my leg. Yeah, garlic, garlic. I got a is, heart. I got a heart. Heal anything. Look, I got a heart on my leg. It's upside down, but it's a heart. <laughs> there it is. Ow! It hurt bad. <laughs> oh yeah, I almost died from that one. <laughs> but um, I'm not the best with pain. Once the cops are scared to mess with the homeless, watch. You're going to be a lot more free to just do what you need to do to survive without tickets, warrants, jail, and threats. And wake-ups in the middle of the night to steal your stuff. You ever seen that? Uh, yes, I have. Do you remember Shitty Smitty who died, that cop? He used to do that yeah. stuff? Yeah. They had a song about him. Do you, uh, nobody knows the song anymore because Monster's not gone. I mean, not here, but... Well, do you remember Shitty Smitty's song? They had a song about how bad he was. And there was another guy, Officer Coffee, I think, or something like that. Yeah, he. both of them came around and they harassed the homeless. What was the other one? I can't think of his name, but he was a real asshole. That's yeah, but you know what I like about Schmidt? After I lost this leg, because this one went first and this one went second, right? They didn't go at the same time. When I lost this leg, I was just at this one. He saw me down around Barton Springs and he stopped. And he said, what's up, Garcia? I'm like, hey, how you doing, Schmidt? He says, well, he said, oh, basically he said, look, man, if anybody gives you any trouble, because, you know, you, the way you are or whatever, he said, you let me know. Point them out to me and I'll take care of them for you. Who did? Smitty. No way. Yes. He was, did a good thing that yes. day. Yes. So he never gave you any trouble? Yeah. He, uh, when he took me to jail one time, uh -huh. we're drinking under the bridge right here. Uh huh. The man, well, we're at Brown Mansion, I think. Yeah, yeah. Was. Lots of tickets there. Yeah. He, thankfully, he took me to the municipal court, which is only like two hours. It's not within. Like a turnaround? It's not within 500 feet of the but, school, but, though, either. He, they but, lie on those tickets. Check it out. He says, uh, when he uncuffed me and put me on the bench and tucked me to the bench when he's walking out the door, he said, catch you later, Garcia. He said, I'll pardon the pun. I'm like, man, get out of here, dude. <laughs> get out of here, fucking Schmidt. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could remember the song. Catch you later, Garcia. We sang a song after he died at one of the homeless events at Peace Park. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's funny, though. The, you're, when you're so bad as a cop, they make a song about you. Right. That's that's bad. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So yeah, what are, I don't suppose there's any way you can carry me up to Randall's. I would if I had room in the truck. The truck's to just, that's where I live, so it's all, all right, full of my right, gear. Right. It's well, got a I cooler. Have to go, brother. Okay, so, man. It's nice meeting you. It's a pleasure to meet you too, yeah. Rick. Thank you for the interview. I'll be around. Ow! I'm around. 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 I'm it's not illegal to fly a sign out here, is it? We're outside it is, the zone. It is, but they already know me. I think we're outside the zone. Yeah, I think so too. Yes, yeah, so I don't think it's illegal. No, there's no crosswalks or anything over here. Right? Oh, you can't, yeah. They have to wad it and throw it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. with big, big have. wad. Bigger they wads have. fly further. All right, I heard that. <laughs> All right, good luck, man. Hope you make a million today. So here we are at Arby's. And here's how it goes on in Austin streets. We got a lot of money, guys. You think we can do better than that? He's a good man, and he quit alcohol. Not very many people can say that. Listen up, cops. All the cops in Austin and you too, Barbosa. I don't want to hear anybody messing with Rick Garcia. Rick Garcia, he's a good man. He's just misunderstood and homeless. And mobility impaired. You leave him alone, Barbosa. Be a good man. Treat people right. Others will treat you right. That's all. Namaste. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.